Cruising in my lane fast, call it high speed I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me Hi guys, welcome back to the channel Today on the 79, we're going to be restoring the rear drum brakes We're going to put in all new springs New pads, new wheel cylinders, the complete brake system. And we're going to show you all little tips and tricks of how to do that. And these brakes are pretty much on all drum brake kits, pretty much on all the cars are all very, very similar. Um, and we're going to do it all with hand tools, basic hand tools. And... You're going to want some brake parts cleaner, maybe some penetrating fluids for bolts that are stubborn and whatnot. Um, we have one or two brake tools that we'll be showing you those. But for the most part, we're going to do it with all just regular hand tools that you have in your garage. And revamp these wheels back into shape. These have been... This car has sat for 16 years, so I already know this wheel cylinder on this side has been leaking. But we're going to do a complete system on the back drum brakes and replace everything. So, let's get started, shall we? Welcome to Jack in the Box. This is Jack. How may I take your freaking order? Man, I told you once, I told you a million times, we ain't got no freaking nacho fries, man. You're going to have to go to the other side of the border. All right, boys. We're over here on the driver's side of the 79 Camaro-itis. We're going to attempt... To restore these back rear drum brakes. I've got these tools. I got this brake tool here. But it's kind of cheating. So I don't want to do it that way. I want to show you all how to do it with regular hand tools. But first thing you're going to want to do boys and girls. As you saw me do. Spray it down with brake, brake fluid. Or some brake cleaner. Brake cleaner fluid? Yeah. Because you don't want to be breathing in this brake dust. It's very harmful to your lungs. So, safety first. Spray it down. Saturate all that brake dust that's accumulated over the 120 years of the car's existence. Put on your eye goggles. You're definitely going to want to wear eye goggles when you go to relieve these springs and pop them off here because they, they, are, they have a lot of tension to them and they will sometimes just snap off of there and flop around and hopefully it will stick in your forehead and not your eyeball. So safety first, wear gloves, wear eye protection, spray it down, get it all nice and nice and juicy. So when you go to popping these springs off, you won't get no brake dust up flying in the air and the particles. Because you don't want to breathe that, my friend. The next thing you're going to want to do is take pictures. Take pictures of all over, everything you can see. Because you don't want to forget how to put this back together. It only works one way. So snap your pics. Then you're going to look at the springs. You got two hooked onto this. You got one hooked onto this one. But you can see the order they're going in. This will be the first spring we take off. Which also means it will be the last spring we put on. So we're going to take this first one off. Then we're going to undo this one. Then we're going to undo this one. Then we're going to go over here. And relieve this retainer clip from this spring. Then we're going to go to this side and do this one. We also got one on the very bottom. We got our adjuster here. And we got a spring here holding on to this bracket, which is basically your self-tensioning bracket for the adjuster. 
our wheel cylinders tucked back here in the back you want to take a note of how these pins are parallel and how they're pinched in the brake pad itself same on this side you also got one other bar back here which I don't remember the name of it we'll just call it the accumulator it's going to be pinched in between the brake pad here as well here but this side will have a spring on it so you want to take a note which side the spring is on this is the driver's side so it's going towards the front the passenger side however will be basically a mirror image so it, this spring will be on the other side so kind of take note of everything and how it goes these wheel cylinders are looking pretty bad you can see the rubbers all pretty much ate up chewed up it's been 120 years since they've been dealt with so but uh that's pretty much the artistic to it you kind of want to get a visual of everything let it all soak in say a few prayers and then start yanking and praying first spring pop second spring pop third spring pop take it off take it off take it off take it off and she'll all come apart and that's what we're going to be doing so i'm going to get situated I got to go talk to Jack and about his attitude real quick. And then um, I will check back in you when we get started. So hang in there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to got to do is take off the tire. Got our tire wrench here. Pull away. Tire. Now this is where the, the hammer can come in handy. A few beats of the hammer to loosen your drums up. Now these will have to be turned or we got to buy new ones. Now you can see how old and nasty this is. Uh, it actually has been leaking from the wheel cylinder. So it's kind of moist in there. We're going to put a bucket down below it and we're going to spray it all clean with some brake parts cleaner. And if you, your car has been painted or whatever, make sure you don't get no brake fluid splashing onto your body panels or anything because brake fluid and paint do not mix. Alright, so now we're all set up. And basically I'm just going to take some pliers, some channel locks, and I'm going to squeeze it right here. Until that spring is backed off and then I can put my screwdriver on there and pop it off. Basically, we just need to squeeze that a little bit. We can get our screwdriver in here as such. And that spring pops right off. So here's that spring that went here and popped into this hole down here. And we'll sit this on the ground basically like it came off so it'll be easier to remember where it goes when we put the new one on plus we got pictures next we'll take off this spring all right that springs off all 
And this spring just hooks in there and then goes around. So we'll lay that spring out like it was. Should have brought my other screwdriver. There we go. So we got this spring off now. I'm gonna lay that out. And then we can get the orientation of how these springs are. Now we can take off this. lay that down like it went and we've got our little part here and just remember which side the spring went on so when you put it back together it'll all be good to go there's a little pin in back so you kind of want to push in on it with your other hand to make sure that they won't push back out and that's that mark that I'll lay that down like it went we can pull this pin out from the back now we'll go to the other side same thing press back in the back I'm gonna try to do this left-handed so y'all have a better view Almost. There we go. Now this one's out. Push that pin out. There's a pin for it. Now on this side, you'll notice. Now the brake pads are pretty much ready to come out. Only thing we got left on the bottom, we got one spring down here. And then we've got another spring on the side. And your adjuster right here. So now we're going to be popping out this spring. Kind of rotate it over so y'all can see a little better. This spring here pops out there and hooks into there. So, Let's see if we can pop this spring out. There's that one. There's this spring. And it basically rested up against that for this little lever. And that's these two pieces. This went into there. And then this spring hooks on here. That's part of your self adjuster. Okay, so. to get this in a route now this is the bottom spring hooks into this hole into that one so once we get this spring out then we can see how this is your adjusting wheels on this side some are on the other side but you can take note of that and we got one more thing up here let's take this bottom spring off this whole arm attachment in the back now that's off now 
Now we can take this whole brake pad off like that and I'll take the spring off. Well, actually it just fell off, so. Now, you're gonna wanna look at your brake pads before you take them off. You'll see there are different sizes. The, the smaller brake pad, the shorter one will always be towards the front of the vehicle and the longer brake pad will always go to the back of the vehicle. Now this is connected with your emergency brake cable here. So we need to take that off. And then we're down to our wheel cylinders, which you can tell these wheel cylinders are pretty much shot. You take these little pins out of your wheel cylinder, be one on both sides. The other one actually fell off, so here it is. And we're going to clean these up and reuse these because they don't come with a new kit with the new wheel cylinders. Now, your emergency brake cable comes off right here. We'll disengage that. And then we can reinstall it. Everything to the new and start putting this all back together. So, our next step will be we're going to spray this down with some brake cleaner. I'm going to go ahead and put a bucket down under here so we won't we'll keep it off the floor I want to get all this cleaned up then we're going to be taking this wheel cylinder off it's attached by two bolts in the back and the brake line so we're going to disconnect the brake line disconnect those two bolts we can remove this at that point and finish cleaning up but I want to go ahead and scrape some of this dirt and grime and grease off of here clean this up a little bit and we'll bring you right back okay so now that we've got this pretty much cleaned up a lot better than what it was now we can take off our wheel cylinder in order to do that i got to take it to the back side so bear with me while i rearrange myself and back here you will see the brake line right here where it comes into the back of the wheel cylinder. We're going to be undoing that and then we'll have these two bolts right here that we got to take off. These are, all of this is 7 16 We're going to be using a line wrench. I can get you adjusted here. We're going to be using a line wrench to hook onto this so we don't strip it out or nothing. Okay, now we got you all set up so you can watch the front. Uh, basically, this is loose now, but it's going to be a little snug. So we can kind of just pry on it a little bit, break it free to pull it out. There we go. So there's our wheel cylinder in all its glory. And you can see where the boot was cut, cracked, pushed in. It was just, it's definitely seen its better days. But keep that cap on there to feed it in there because you don't want to get no grease or dirt in that line. And then this is where your fuel line will go to. So we're going to be attaching this one. And there just ain't no play in this brake line really, but 
we're going to attack this we're going to go ahead and put this on and then we'll take our two bolts that we've taken off 7 16 bolts and tighten this up so hang in there while I get this all set up okay now that we got the wheel cylinder in we've pretty much cleaned up the back plate back plating and everything we didn't remove our emergency brake there was no need to but I did scrape this off with a wire brush got it a little cleaner I sanded these down got these a little cleaner and they go into your wheel cylinder so we're gonna stick these into the wheel cylinder now so now we're gonna put our brake pads on got our new pin in the back we're gonna kind of line it up to a point All right. now put the clip on it push it in and turn it and there we go it's sticking out there we go so we got that portion done all right so, so now we got this brake pad on with our new spring and our retaining clip Then we got our other brake pad here and this is actually going to hook onto that and then line up on this side kind of like that And we're going to have our new, our other new clip and pin and spring set up. New pin on this side as well. Stick it in from the back. Right here. Got this here. Okay, so now we're on the other side of the brake shoes. I'm going to try to line everything up here and that bracket back there. Push this pin in. Get this little there lined up. We're going to find our spring. Set that in there. There. Okay. Now we can adjust this a little better. All right. Put that in. Need to put this other piece in again. That goes like that. But now there we go. That's lined up better. Clean all this up. So I'm going to pause it for a minute. Clean this up really good so we can reuse this. And we'll be back. Alright, so now that we got that going, we've got this bracket cleaned up. Now we're going to be putting this where it goes on the back side. To 
hold that. Whoops. You need to come down a little. So hold that. Separate there. We can get that fed in there once we put the top springs on. It'll tighten all that up. Such. Like such. Okay. So now, our next step is to clean this off. This is our self adjuster. We want to clean it up, make sure she spins good, she's not locked up, and it's going to go in between here and here. Then we can put this bottom spring in, which will help hold it better. So let me get to cleaning this up, and then I'll bring y'all back. Which is this spring right here. And it went in from the back on this side in the front hole here okay all right get that spring in but everything went whammy and out of alignment now with this let's see what's going on here Let's take this back out for a second. Let's get these little cylinders lined up. Why you keep... Okay, I need to put the top spring in. Put that on. We need to put this top spring around here. All right, for some reason my camera shut off. Okay, so we managed to get this top spring on here. The very first one. It's the last spring we took off, so we put it on first, of course. We've got the bottom spring in, kind of holding the bottom together. We've got everything lined up here and here. So, I believe this will go here. And attach to this hook. Oh, so close. Come on. Give me a little more right there. There. All right, that's a little booger. That pretty much finishes up this side, which is the difficult side. We got one more big spring to put here because this spring has to go here. Gonna go through this hole and then clip clip up to there, but There. 
Yeah, we're in here. We're in there. All right. I finally got that last spring in the bottom. But we've got it all together now. So that's all of it. All put back together. All I got to do is turn the drum. We'll put it back on and then we can adjust it from this adjuster down here and these are the tools we used now I had some brake tools I could have used these and made my life a little easier um, I think I actually did use this one tool for one of the springs pried a little bit but I wanted to show you all you could do it with regular tools you got and look at my new gas tank sweet little gas tank looking nice so that's it boys uh hope i help somebody out there the rear brakes on a car drum brakes rather in particular are are pretty similar all of all across the board fords mopar chevys even a lot of your newer cars are gonna be very very similar so if you can do any if you can do one you can do the others um I got to get this drum turned or I'm going to probably actually look online, see if I can find a good deal on some new ones. I hope I help somebody out there. If y'all have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you. Y'all have a beautiful day. Cruising in my lane fast, call it high speed I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me